So to start things off, Goombella says, this is the deepest part of Pirate's Grotto. One part of this area is covered in fog. Is it the fog of war? Maybe. Hi, Veritas. Thank you for coming by. I'm sorry. I'm sorry things didn't work out yesterday with technical difficulties, but I, I'm happy to see you here again. Welcome back. It did. It did go well. For anybody who missed it, yesterday I streamed. I thought I was going to be streaming on my channel, but actually I was streaming on their Steam channel. Um, and tomorrow I will be streaming on their Steam channel again, but on a different channel. Um, I try, I've been trying to talk about it and talk about it on social media and on the Discord. Um, but um, unfortunately, especially with like the death of Twitter, relatively speaking, and the decrease of usefulness of algorithms of all sorts um it's hard to say this is what i'm doing um i feel like i should have like a mailing list or something like that so i can share my news with folks maybe i should do that just in case folks want to know about things um i think you can watch i don't know if you can chat without steam but i think you can watch but yeah basically um my first ever sponsored streams Okay, well, I'm old and I check my email a lot. Um, they're, my, they're sponsored streams where I'm playing these visual novels, the first hour of visual novels. I got through about half of what they expected me to last night and I still took longer than they had originally allocated. So I did my, uh, I did my Lawrence style stream, but they seemed satisfied. I was satisfied. I'm excited to see where that game goes. Tomorrow we'll be doing one that is a martial arts epic story that looks very pretty oh well okay well maybe i'm just old at heart <laughs> um what is that behind me oh oh that's just my that's just my hoodie i couldn't figure it out yes no it was very lauren but that's all right we 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 actually mostly stayed on topic i was just talking about the game um so we'll see how tomorrow's goes if you if you want to see me streaming not on my own channel um follow on the discord and um, you should get the notification and just click that link and click the thing there and it'll take you to the right link. I might have been the only streamer to spend 10 plus minutes reading the item descriptions. They did ask us actually to make sure that we didn't rush through it too fast. They were like, please dig through the menus. And I was like, you're giving me things to read? Why, yes, I think I will. Um, <laughs> no, it's fun and interesting. I was really nervous about it because I'm used to streaming on my own terms for myself or with like friends where like we all kind of know what to expect if I'm doing like a concert, but this is different because I want to, uh, yes, it's a very easy request for me to, <laughs> um, hi Bubba's welcome back. You made it. Um, yeah, uh, no, it was just, it was, I was a little nervous because I was like kind of representing someone else's thing, somebody else's art. And it made me a little bit nervous because um, I wanted to do right by them because they've been very nice people. Um, so hopefully they're happy with how that went. I'm looking forward to seeing the next, um, the next game tomorrow. And, uh, uh, yeah, I will, I will post about it on on Discord, and now we have the right link on the Discord, and I will try to share the link elsewhere. Um, but uh, but yeah, it's it's fun and interesting and different. Um, I don't know that I'm the most well suited to things on time limits because I'm really chatty, but that's okay. We all knew that. Um, so welcome everybody. That will be happening Wednesday. Um, and then Thursday, we're going to do Disco Elysium again. Um, let's see. Uh, I still want to do my stream anniversary, but we are now like a month plus after it. So I guess I'd have to do it like this coming Sunday or something if I'm going to do it at all. Um, so follow me on the, the online spaces to see if that happens. Uh... I don't know if I'm going to be able to do it. Oh, we'll see. Also talk to my roommate make sure I don't annoy her. Otherwise, I might just have to say there's no stream anniversary this year. Which is not ideal, but I was sick. Um, 
Otherwise, I, I will, and I'll let you folks know, since you're the Tuesday crew, I'm sorry, I'm checking my calendar. Um, I am taking off Tuesday, August 22nd, so that's week after next. I will not be streaming because I'm going to go to see Camelot and Battle Beast. I'm going to go see a show. So to make up for that, um, either that Monday or that Tuesday is when my video essay on Undertale and Rune is going to go live. I'm committing to it. I'm going to finish it up. Have not finished it. I've, I've, I haven't finished putting in B-roll, but it's, it's, it's doing quite well. So mark your calendars. We will be doing that in the mornings. And so you can watch that on YouTube. Um, it's very exciting. I'm very excited about it. Um, I actually think it's, it's coming together uncomfortably well, which makes me suspect that it might actually be terrible because it seems easy. Um, but look forward to that. <laughs> Yes, I've been so I've been talking about making these video essays for a while um, and then I wrote out a bunch of outlines while I was too sick to do much of anything else and then last week I think it was I recorded the whole like video talking part of it um, and then I edited it and then I've been I got to so get some feedback on that I stuck in some music I've been adding in the b-roll and then I'm gonna see if I can get a couple of folks to review it um, and give me uh, feedback so that I can polish it up to its final form but it's pretty close actually um if that goes well and i feel like doing more i've already kind of drafted up what the next one is going to be which is i think actually going to be dark souls don't hate me <laughs> but dark souls does a really neat way of subverting your expectations with its uh um situational storytelling there's a word for it that i've written down and i forgot what it is um Thank you, Blue Glass. Well, I appreciate your, I appreciate your vote of confidence. Um, there's one I want to do that's Horizon Zero Dawn and Talos Principle, um, but it's going to probably be twice the, long, the length of everything else. So, <laughs> so I, I decided to slowly work on it in the background and learn what I'm doing in the in advance, like first. <laughs> anyway, that's tangent stuff yeah blue, i might i might blues i might ask you to help me like remember where and when certain things are but i think because i know what i want to talk about i just i'm not sure about all the details because my memory is bad um but yeah i don't know that we're gonna do any paper mario video essays uh but <laughs> could happen could happen that's what i've got on my plate anyway um Look, the bot is back. Isn't that exciting? The bot came back. Um, all right, so shall we get back to Thousand Year Door? I'm sorry I've been talking so much about other stuff. Yes, this is definitely not the best music for random updates about things. Marvin, hey, hey, welcome back. Thank you for subscribing. Thank you, friend. 15 months, that's more than a year. I appreciate it. Thank you. Firstborn child will be hookshot. When did that happen? <laughs> I don't remember. Did I say that? I mean, I like hookshots, but I don't think I'll have children. Well, that's fine. That's all right. If I have another, if I get another pet, I should name them hookshot. <laughs> all right. This is the deepest part of Pirate's Grotto. One part of this area is covered in fog. Seems like maybe all of the ships that capsized near here ended up in this cavern. I wonder if Cortez's ship was the first to end up down in these caverns. Ooh. Okay, I'm just really proud of myself because I titled this stream The Dread Pirate Cortez's Ghost because I like Princess Bride a lot. Like, a lot. Okay, so this is definitely a pirate because we've got piratey flags. And that, well, I said I wasn't gonna. I think I must have gotten that already last time. I'm guessing. There must have been something there. Uh, 
Well, I'm glad that I'm glad that rainbow she doesn't get eaten. All right. Yeah, I'm really excited about those those videos. Um it feels kind of like a natural fit because I know a lot about editing video interviews and things down into telling a story and I know how to write things and shape them into a story I don't know we'll see we'll see um, but if you are interested in the video essays the first one is called uh, Comic Relief and Toby Fox and it is about comic relief and Undertale and Deltarune and how Toby Fox intentionally switches back and forth between comedy and drama for maximum effect. I could just talk about why the Goombas are the best and Vivian. Yes, she's great. Maybe she should... Okay, clearly, clearly Vivian needs to be Goombella's college roommate and when Goombella finds out because she's nosy, incredibly nosy, Goombella finds out how much Vivian's family sucks and that they don't accept her. And so Goombella says, you are coming home to my house for the holidays. And so she brings her home to the entire, like, Goomba clan. I'm writing this fanfic in my head, and I am on board. I don't know if you're on board, but I'm on board. <laughs> it's a great fanfic idea, whatever. <laughs> oh, man. All right. Let us... Okay, good. I'm glad that I'm glad that you folks appreciate my genius. <laughs> I should write it just for fun, without any expectations of it being any good. It doesn't have to be like canon, so it doesn't matter that I haven't beaten the game. <laughs> All aboard! Thank, you. thank you, Blue Glass. I do mean to finish the latest chapter of uh, of the Darkness and Starlight pick. I know I've been saying I've been working on it for two months. I have been working on it off and on for like seven months. We'll get there eventually. Eventually. Oh, this looks creepy. Ooh, you ignored my war. Oh, excuse me. You ignored my warning. Sorry. Sometimes you gotta do a dumb voice. Ooh, come inside the door. And be lost in darkness. Ah, sorry. A <laughs> ghost, Lauren. It's not very good. That's being scary. All right, what do you have to say, Goombella? This is the inside of Cortez's ship. Cortez must be inside the next room, huh? Ooh, hello. Welcome, Wooper. He needs to clean up in here. Like feather duster time or something all right yes 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 I hit the wrong button let's do it what that's a lot of money Ooh. it looks kind of like a face with that red necklace looks like a mouth come into my hack hork ahem Ooh, okay, I'm really curious about you're trying to do a creepy voice and it's not coming. Who is trying to sound like a ghost? Let's find out. Okay, you do actually look like a real ghost. Oh, good. Okay, you are a ghost. internet just did that my internet's been kind of on the fritz all day well clearly Cortez was too much he's kind of almost got a rodent thing going on with his facial structure a cool guy hat I appreciate that the music has the the percussion has the like is that a vibraphone I think it's a vibraphone but it's, it's, it's a very wooden sound that sounds like bones, which we, we have an association between that. No, it's it's crystal clear outside. It's not stormy weather. It's, I think, 
I suspect that I need to set up um, the uh, power line adapters um, and stop using the power cord that I've been using. Um, and hopefully that'll be better. So we'll see how that goes. Um, but yeah, I, I appreciate that the music is referencing the fact that he's a skeleton. It's very clever of them. Of her, I suppose. This is Shimomura. Is this still Shimomura? No, 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 not Shimomura. Shimomura did Super Mario RPG. She didn't do the rest of them. She didn't do the Paper Mario games. They would have more melody. All right. So back to the game. Enough. I grow tired of this spooky ooh business. Marimba, that's it. Thank you, Whooper. That's what I was, I was trying to remember which. No, I think the xylophone is different. I felt like the xylophone was one of the more metallic ones. That the marimba is the specifically the um the one that's wooden, and the only one that's wooden. But I'm not a master of mallet percussion. Please don't tell my friend Doug that I'm getting them all confused. Oh, xylophone is wooden. Okay. Well, xylophone is what people think of when they think of mallet percussion. Um. So, but, but, but there is an association between that kind of instrument and, like, it's, it's used a lot when you have creepy skeleton characters because it's, like, the, the, the ribs. So you see them, like, beating on bones, like, da -da 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 -da, with their mallet. Um, okay. All right, well, we have... Well, shh, don't judge me, Mallet Percussionist. I know a little tiny bit about these things, but I have no memories, so it doesn't last. Anyway. Anyway. <laughs> I am a pirate, blast it. Pirates do not moan. Okay, well, I'm glad that his pirateness overrides his ghostliness. I am a cold-blooded villain who robs innocence of life and loot. Not a crying ghost. Can I just take a moment and say that I appreciate the fact... Okay, I love... Like, pirate characters frequently wind up being characters that I like because they're, they're rogues. And sometimes they're charming rogues. But the thing is... Pirates functionally, based on their occupation, don't really have hearts of gold, you know? Um, if you really think about it, they kill a lot of innocent people. And if you don't want your pirates to be somebody, be pirates to be characters who, who kill a lot of innocent people, you have to, you have to make that a conscious choice. Um, so, uh... It's a thing to remember. In this case, though, the pirates are clearly villains. Cold-blooded villains. Rob's innocence of life and loot. That's fun wordplay, because you've got the alliteration of life and loot, but you can totally rob someone of their life, or rob somebody of their money. Like, that's that's great. That's This is good writing. The writing in this game can be very good. Not a crying ghost, no. We... We look down our non-noses. <laughs> we look down <laughs> absence of nose cartilage at ghosts here. <laughs> because we, excuse me, are pirate skeletons. They're different. My friend who likes skeleton boys probably wouldn't like Cortez though. She tends to like characters that are somewhat moral and have good hearts. So. I think a cold-blooded villain who murders people in cold blood is probably not on the list. Uh-oh. And you are after my treasure! He doesn't actually say- Oh, look! Look! You can see the star! You can see the star! It's there in the corner! You can, I was pointing at the screen, but you can't see that, so I can point there. there. That, there's a star. Follow follow my finger. Pretend it's stretching. There's the star. I grabbed it. I've stolen it. Alright, Cortez, I've got the star. We're going home. Bye. Peace out. And this... This is my ship. What are you doing here? Speak. Well, I'm gonna get your treasure, obviously. If I'm after your treasure, then I would obviously be here because I, that's where your treasure is, right? No, I'm not after your treasure. I'm after the crystal star that I can see glowing behind you that's specifically making sparkle noises so that I know. 
I'll turn your mustache into a bone polisher, amigo. Yo! Mario is mad. Look at how mad he is. He's in serious mode. Toms are the, the drums that you use on a drum kit if you're making your video game cover band, rock band, adapt music that has bongos. <laughs> I'm sorry, I'm listening to this music. Okay, so he appears to have a skull. An arm with a hook hand, naturally. An arm with a not hook hand, holding a sword. Uh, another, another hand holding a scimitar of some sort. Did I ever tell you I used to pronounce that word schmitar when I was a child? He looks like he's got wings, like little red feather wings that kind of have the leaf-like look. It makes me think of uh, Zagreus. And yet the arms don't look like arm bones. They look like those spiral potatoes you can get at the fair. <laughs> don't make your don't make your bones out of potatoes, buddy. That's a bad idea. Oh, are they vertebra? And then he's got his spiky hunchback. And then he's just coming out of a whole heap of bones. It looks like there's like a little skull in there. Delicious, yes, but not functional for the basis of your limbs. Just saying. It's not sound anatomical construction to use fried potatoes, no matter how delicious in place of your bones. Just no. <laughs> All right. Does he have a fourth hand? Because it looks like there's something else wiggling back there. Does he have an ax? I think he has an ax. Dude, you have two swords, a hook, and an ax. And spikies. I think that's too much. Okay, fair. Ghosts don't have to care about sound anatomical construction. Fair. Okay, he's pretty dramatic. All right. All right, so before we do this, we're going to see what the heck she's got. She's going to tell us what the heck he's got going on. All right, Cortez. Nice. That's Cortez. <laughs> you don't say. <sighs> Pirate's Grotto. Where does this guy fit on the dead undead scale? That is a valid question. However, I think it's safe to say with the scale of deadness, that he is dead alive alive. He clearly is not mindless. He's not, he's not a violent mindless zombie and he does not have skin. So I think he's dead alive alive, no skin. A very solid three. Do we, do we feel in agreement about that? Oh, maybe that's not a, oh, is that a third sword? I think it's a third sword. He has three swords and a hook. That's still too many. Okay. 
Well... But we don't know, these bones actually might be his bones. We don't know what he looked like in life. Maybe Goombella's about to inform us. <laughs> He's the dreaded, see the dread pirate, dread pirate, ha, dread pirate. Has anyone not seen The Princess Bride? The funniest movie ever made. One of the most perfect artistic creations that mankind has birthed. I love it so much. <laughs> He's the dreaded pirate spirit who haunts the islands. Max HP is 20, attack is 4, and defense is 1. Okay. Oh, it's I love it. I love it very much. We should do a we should do a watch night for it. On the on the Fleety Pie server, we should do a watch night. I love this movie very much. So much. I promise I won't talk during it. I'll mute myself. <laughs> his HP may seem low, but he's a spirit. So even when his HP hits zero, he'll come back. What are you, a breath of fire villain? <laughs> oh my god. Plus he has tons of different attacks. He's as tough and scary as he looks. I mean, he has three swords and a hook. Which is like an honorary sword because it's also got a pointy end to go in the end. I'd say just keep damaging him and sooner or later he'll go down for good. <laughs> Thanks, Goombella. Let's give this tormented spirit some eternal rest. Oh man. Okay. Alright. So like... Does anybody here watch Queer Eye? The recent, like, the, the new Queer Eye, not the original show from back in the day. Um, so, whenever they start talking about, like, at the beginning of each episode, they have the person that they're going to be, they're going to be helping. And at the beginning of the episode, when they, where they, they, like, have this, like, introduction where they're like, this person is a so-and-so who, you know, was nominated by their family because they love them, but it turns out they don't have their life together because all these other things are going on. And then at the end of the introduction, they have this, like catchphrasey type thing that they say. Like, let's turn this sad person's smile or frown upside down. Like, like I, I don't know. But it's, 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 it's usually referencing who they are and what their problem is and it's trying to be clever and it's, it's, it's funny. Um, that's what this makes me think of. I don't know what's wrong with me. That that's what this makes me think of, but it is. Sorry. <laughs> I am what I am. And apparently that is somebody who, who watches feel good trash TV sometimes. I don't think Goombella's going for that, but I could absolutely see her doing that. She's so nosy. Alright. I feel like jumping on him is probably a bad idea because he's covered in spikies. So I'm gonna hammer him. Cause why not? Beep, 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 beep. I'm hitting the bone pile. Doyoing. Did you hear it? Maybe it's a great little doyoing sound. You know what we need to do here? I'm sorry. I love you very much, Goombella. But there's a clear choice. I, oh, actually, that's useful. Sorry. I think that that was actually a useful thing you were going to throw at me. I don't know. Um, for some reason, the undead are susceptible to fire. I guess they get really dry. Oh, he's got his... He's got his jaw. Like, there's like a... You know, one of those... Those um, things that you use to put keychains on? He's got one of those, like, clipping his jaw onto his skull. That's so useful for him. Alright, let us... That is a lot, but we only have one attack, one enemy here, so we can do this. All fun. I can just... Oh my god, she, do you see how she becomes a tall girl? She becomes tall girl to punch him in the face. So good. Beep, beep. 
beep, beep. There's gotta be a gimmick of some sort beyond the fact that he has... Oh. Okay, hold on. <laughs> he takes damage. Alright, let's do this again. You're super duper on fire, buddy. I like this song. All right. He's gonna go into his next mode. Oh, there's his three swords. Falcon, scimitar, and a uh, pokey thing. What did you just? Oh, oh, it was a scene change. He has a creepy heart thing going on. No hands. He looks like he's a snake. Doesn't he look like he's a snake? And so that's why his arms were like fake arms because I guess maybe he's a creature that doesn't have arms normally. Yes. All right. Okay, so he has multiple forms that each have 20 health. All right. Well, he's still on fire. Creepy ribcage or not. Beep, 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 beep. All right. Doing all right. That's not good. His attack power is now boosted. What if I... I'm gonna attack you. So you're on fire and you're gonna continue to take damage. However, unfortunately, I'm going to de defire you. No, it didn't work! Oh. Well, that didn't work, but it was worth trying. He's apparently impervious to fire. Oh, oh, his little heart thing is exposed. I don't seem to be able to target his heart separately, so. All right, and then after this, maybe we'll do. Okay, all right, now the weapons. Ah, how very Castlevania-y of him. You know? Okay, this is actually really, this is, I'm sorry, this is actually really cool. <laughs> I think this is cool. Hook, rapier, saber, and sword. They're gonna make me do this, aren't they? But. Ah, good, good. That's nice of them. That's very nice of them. That's not what I thought was gonna happen. All right. Vivian? You wanna set them all on fire? Look, Goombella is an archeologist. She would be very interested in the ancient weaponry that Cortez has on display. I'm fairly sure she would be able to tell me something about it, including her commentary on how cool they are and how attractive you look when you wield it. <laughs> I love her. Let's see how this goes. This takes a lot of flower power. Oh shoot, I didn't do very well. That's okay. That'll take care of business. Can I jump on Cortez? Yes. We're gonna see, this might be a bad idea. I might get skewered. That's okay, because I think I'm probably gonna do um, 
What's the word? Ping, 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 ping. That next. Ha ha! Ha ha! Sweet treat, thank you. Oh. I'm sorry, this is super, super Castlevania y. Oh, it poisoned me! Oh my god, you butts! <laughs> yeah, but that was pretty funny. Alright, well, that's fine. We're good. We're fine. Yeah, take that! All of your weapons are dead, Cortez. Ha! 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 Alright. He's making sad sounds. Oh, this also cures poison. Okay, we're gonna do this. It's a really cool boss. I'm, I, and then yes, the fog was very, very useful. He's not just a skeleton pirate, he's a skeleton pirate with multiple forms and different vibes with each form and like four weapons, cause why stop at one or two or even three? Just go all the way. Yeah, that is definitely not a crying ghost. Okay, let's see if we can do this. I feel like they are giving me ah better results there than usual. Like I feel like that was more forgiving than usual, possibly because it's a boss fight. Okay, let's set him more on fire. Well, now I know how her group attack works, so that's useful. Ah, oh well. We could Earth Tremor. I mean, I was gonna wait until like his final form, but it'll be fine. I think we can do this. Cause I'm pretty sure we can take those guys out. We'll see. If I do well, I might not do well. The music's so good, it's distracting me. That was bad. And that's entirely on me too. Well, that's fine. That's fine. We're gonna do this again. It's fine. It's fine. It's fine. I never do that. I never do so badly. I psyched myself out. Alright, now I know how this works. So we're gonna try this again. Oh shoot! I hit the wrong button. Oh my god! I'm failing so badly. The game is the game may have favored me, but I'm still messing up. All right, let's try this again. Oh, I'm sorry, Vivian. Ah, I can't take much more of this. This calls for something special. Uh-oh. Now you will see the true might of my spirit form. Did you just see the audience? Excuse me. really terrible. Unacceptable. All right. Well, <clears throat> I guess I might as well. Not that. I can do one of these. Let's do this. Nice. 
items. All the punies ran away. <laughs> that's that's fair. That's fine. Um. Yeah. Okay. Right, the audience. Why are you throwing things at me? He's the one who ate ate you all. Ungrateful. Wait. No photo hammer. Oh, is he too high up in the air for that? I guess. Okay, that's not very good. That does not do much damage. That's okay, we'll get him down. No, I think I can do this. We've kind of got a war of attrition thing. Oh, God. What else am I gonna do with my items? Use them on the enemies is what I'm gonna do. Yeah, that's the spirit. I'm really good. <sighs> Are they ever going to address the fact that half the audience just got eaten? Do you notice some of these guys like went back into the front row? <laughs> They're like, well, these seats are available, so I guess I'll take them now. Oh my god. Okay, he seems pretty tricky. Like, I definitely got lucky at a few points. Now, granted, I also messed it up pretty profoundly a few times. Um, but he did seem like he was a pretty tricky fight. Oh, yeah. Vivian's AoE is, is good. Um, also, items are really good. Did they know the risks? Did they, Phil? Oh, Hooktail at the audience, I guess. I wonder if this dragon is related to Hooktail, then. If this guy is a dragon, he kind of looks like he could be a dragon. Maybe this is Hooktail's long lost relative. <laughs> Gotta read the fine print. Oh gosh, I hope I don't get... I hope that isn't an issue at the uh, concert I'm going to in a couple of weeks. By the way, folks, we will have no stream the week after next because I'm going to a concert. And so instead, um, either that Monday or Tuesday morning, I'm going to put my first video essay live on YouTube. That's your consolation prize. So... You heard it here. I, you know, I'm actually using my flower power. And HPs are always good. But I think I'm gonna go with badge points because I can. No, my treasure. Sorry. The sound effects. Hi, Blues. Thank you for thank you for that. Oh my god, he's a little bitty. He's a little bitty. I am done for. Oh, now he's normal size. Yo, ho, 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 ho. you are foolish, amigo. For I am not dead. I mean, you are dead. You're undead, though. So I guess that's like so dead you loop around and come on the other side. Well, technically, I was already dead. But my spirit endures, tied to my treasure. So you cannot do anything to me. I do not live, amigo. Still, guarding this treasure for hundreds of years is almost as boring as death. What? You are not even interested in my treasure? Oh. No. Then why are you here? Uh -huh. huh? You want this, amigo? Oh, yeah. This little rock over here? Are you serious? Well, that's no big deal. Here, take it. <laughs> He's pretty chill, I think, all things considered. What do I need one or two extra gems for? I didn't really like that one anyway. <laughs> Are you gonna let all the other people go? All the people you ate?
you got a crystal star and you got a crystal star and you got a crystal star and you got yeah at least it's not bees your star power is now six and mario learned mario learned the mario learned the special move sweet feast that sounds pretty useful we can remove the death skill but if this game has given me like anything to think about it is that apparently there's a lot of undead in the mario universe all right i guess we finished that chapter cortez scourge of the seas mario soundly defeated the spe fearful spirit and claimed the crystal star Perhaps the peaceful citizens of the world no longer need fear Cortez and his fell ship. The only problem remaining is how Mario will escape this isolated island. And could there be another problem still hiding beneath our hero's nose? Is there something stinky? Uh, I guess we'll find out. This is the kind of game that mentions totally legit copy and safe. Wait a minute. Well, that should do it. If you don't need anything else, away with you. Okay. This is the sort of game that if they say something's under the main character's nose, like, that can just mean like it's like right there and you don't see it. But it can also be a reference to something being stinky and this is the kind of game that would do that. It's not unreasonable for me to think that. Month, star, day, circle star. And then I heard something my ears could not believe. We had actually discovered the legendary treasure of the Pirate King Cortez. <laughs> he threw us out. Vivian. I can't jump that way. I hope you don't mind my stupid dramatics. I just, I really enjoy it. How am I supposed to do this? Okay, well, I'm glad, I'm glad then. I'm glad you enjoy it. You can probably give me a help. This is the deepest part of the Pirates Grotto. One part of this area is covered in fog. Seems like maybe all the ships, yes. But what do I do now? How do I not get horrifically eaten? I don't know. Let's try. I'm really not sure. I don't know what I'm supposed to do. Gonna see if I can do this. Okay, I can do this. I can't just platform. Alright, then I have to actually swap to the kid here. I hate platforming. <laughs> I rest my case. I hate platforming so much. He's the kid, I'm sorry. 
that's 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 just that's just how it is he's the kid <laughs> i don't know when he became the kid but he's the kid all right i guess onward we got our crystal star now we have to figure out how to get out this game has bat pla bad platforming bat flat forming i'm word saying very well tonight it may have bad platforming but i also am a bad platformer and you put the two together and it's just <laughs> it's a lot of failure uh pat blood for me yes that's it that's it exactly whoa that was like an earthquake in there are you all right uh, uh. yahoo you beat cortez wow you're really something yes now that you've got some free time why don't you get us out of here <laughs> um oh i'm gonna bomb that all that shaking caused this wall here to crack a bit I feel a breeze. If we could break down this wall, I think we could escape. I guess that's not much help. What? A breeze? How are we going to bust that solid rock, though? I have an idea. Oh, Frankie, if we get out of here, how would you feel about living on this island? Aw, oh, come on, sugar beet. Maybe we ought to think about it after we get out, huh? Well, Mr. Tough Guy, I'm sure you can take care of a rock wall or two, right? Yeah, I really need to get out of this stinking place before I flip out. Alright, this poor toad is going to have a breakdown. Alright, none of the rest of you are talkable. You're talkable. I can feel a little breeze through the crack here. I can even smell the ocean. Alright, alright. Bobbery, are you ready to save the day? Dum da da dum, da da dum da da dum da da dum. We blew it up. Go us! Ha! Huh, it worked just like I said. Well, me first. Are you sure you want to do that and not like the guy who's actually armed with weapons? Come on, everybody, let's get out of here. This damp cave air is just not good for my skin. Let's go, Frankie. I love the sound effects and the silliness of just how many of them there are. They're definitely flexing the number that they can have. You saved our lives, man. I'll never forget you. But I need to leave now. All right, buddy. All right, Goombella. You can cancel boat mode or plane mode by pressing B. <laughs> I'm like the tip master. I love her so much. It's a super convenient one, so don't forget. Oh, where did that put me? Oh, oh, hello. Oh, hey, 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 I totally thought there should be a thing out there, didn't I? Yeah, cause like out here's where like the moly, yeah, there's the moly mole. Hello, moly mole. I'm not gonna whack you on the head with a hammer. But I'm pretty sure I jumped on this thing over and over again and was like, this looks like there should be something here. Guess what? There totally is. This is Keel Hall Key, yes. Oh, this is her vacation thing. All right. I didn't know what to do stranded in that cave, but the whole thing was rather exciting. It is kind of a Dark Souls shortcut, yeah, a one-way door. I'm just glad my little dame is safe and sound. All right. Ah, I love the salty air. Wow, sure is bright today. Hey, in case I don't say it enough, thanks for saving us. Well, that's nice. That doesn't happen with everyone in every game. I need to get back to Rogueport where my brother is waiting. Wait, hold up. No, your brother came with us. Come see your brother. Your brother will be very excited to see you. Come on. Well, I'm pretty sure that's the brother of our toad that's scared. Who's the one that's right here that is in this scene because that's his brother. Very clever. Oh, Mario. Welcome back to you, my stalwart captain. So, 
Have you found the treasure? How is our little expedition faring, hmm? <laughs> Mario explains. What? The spirit of Cortez was guarding the treasure. And you beat him, but you left all the treasure there. I'm glad that they're translating what Mario said. Arg! What were you thinking? Were you trying to be nice? I guess this is the pirate. Ah, oh, well. That's what I like about you, I guess. Too nice. Yeah. Could it be? But, brother? You. What are you doing here? I. I came looking for you, brother. All the way to this island I came looking. But ghosts attacked us, and our boat just sank. But I found you now. Huh? Your boat sank too. So you're all stranded here as well. Everyone dot dot dot. Oh good, something just blew up. Great, good, fantastic. That will definitely end well for us. What? Hold on. Huh? What was that? A cannon? Is it Bowser? That sounds like Bowser. It's Bowser. Are we gonna hitch a ride with Bowser? Oh my god, I would be so happy. <laughs> What is that? No, it's the x knots Pardon me, guys. Buh. I mean, buh, 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 buh. I have a pretty good x knot laugh. My evil laugh's not so great, but... Is he gonna, like, whip off his costume? We're all gonna be like, oh no, it's an x knot So sorry to surprise you. No, wait. No need for that fake politeness anymore. Good job getting the crystal star. Oh yeah, seriously. Good job getting it for me. Oi now, ain't that good old four eyes? Yeah, that is four eyes. What's he doing over there? <laughs> I'm picking it up. Amazing, amazing. I mean, I guess we did have a little conversation. <laughs> Amazing. Hey, four eyes, it's dangerous up there. Oh my God, that's so awesome. Maybe he's gonna turn coat. What's with this lukewarm reception, huh? Dramatic entrance here. Oh, whatever. I'll spell it out for you idiots. You may have known me as four eyes, but I'm actually... Dramatic reveal! Buh, buh, buh. Wait, it's Crump himself? I thought this was one of his goons. The great Lord Crump! Oh man, did I fool you. That's why Goombella thought he seemed familiar. Not just any old x not. I was the mastermind in the shadows running this voyage. It hurts to be this good. Now, Mario, enough of this. I want to schedule here. Hand over the crystal star. He's like, time. Because you know what'll happen if you don't. Oh, blow your planet up. Sorry. <laughs> Starboard cannons, port cannons, fire, fire, fire. I <laughs> yikes. Four Eyes was a pirate all this time? Madness! A pirate. We still don't get it. Well, what are we all standing around for? Cannons, people! We must flee! Look, we're sailors. We're not much good for anything without a ship to sail. Wait, let's go take his ship. I have it! I am a genius! We have a ship at hand! And a fine one, I must say. Are we gonna take Cortez's ship? God. Mario, take me to Cortez. He just wants the treasure. Yes, my brain remembered what you said. You said that Cortez had a ship. If the legend is true, then we should be unstoppable in that cursed ship. S 
cursed ship. That sounds great. Are we gonna be undead again? We're gonna have a good old uh, Pirates of the Caribbean moment here. Flavio, what are you talking about? That's crazy. This is Cortez the pirate you're talking about here. Even if Mario did beat him, why would he lend you his ship, huh? He'll cream you, cream you. Hey, I may be a coward and a cad, but I still lead you. I have a duty to protect you. It's a pretty good amount of self-awareness for this fella. We will be cannon fodder if we sit and wag our tongues. We must at least try Cortez. Well, it explains why that felt a little bit unfinished there. I want to hear no complaints. I am your leader and I will negotiate with this Cortez. He just wants the treasure. Now, Mario, take me to this pirate scum this instant. I gotta protect my tender little snack muffin. I'm promised a boss. Eek! Help me, Daddy! She's very brave. What's all this craziness? We finally get out of there only to get blasted? I'm a brother! Ah! At this rate, we'd have been better off staying in that cave! I finally found you, brother! That stinking four eyes. I always thought he was right fishy. I'm sorry, but I have no more items that I need to save. Totally legitimate copy of the game. Huh? Four Eyes was a bad guy all this time? And I thought he was a pretty straight shooter. What? Four Eyes sold us up the river? Is that... Does that idiom originate where I think it does? It's probably not an idiom we should be using anymore. Yeah, that actually makes sense. I guess he always was a bit fishy. You didn't doubt anything. Alright, let's go in and buy some items. <laughs> the, the dramatic music cuts away. Cannons. I say cannons. But if you're talking to uh, if you're talking about how much cannonry a ship has, I think is when you use the singular. But I am not a ship person, so I don't know. All right. All right. Super shroom sounds good. Yes, we'll take it. Fire flower, ice storm. Uh, see what I've got. Let's withdraw something. What do we got? We got a lot of stuff. We got a whole lot of stuff. My goodness. Um. I've only got one of those. All right. Well, it's an idiom. That people and people haven't really thought so much about the origins of idioms until the past few years, um, so uh, it's not something that I would expect people to have thought of as kids, especially. Um, but I don't even know for sure if it's referencing what I think it's referencing. But um, all right, let me go save. All right, we've saved. We've got some stuff. Now we can go. It is what I thought. Okay, Fun Whisper. Thanks for checking that for me. Unfortunate. A oh, prison up the river from New York City? Oh, really? Okay, so never mind. It isn't what I thought it was then. I guess that would make more sense as betrayal as opposed to just being harmful. Alright, let's see if we can walk through. You guys have got to move out of the way. 
I cannot seem to push you off the edge. That's good. Limit the property damage that I can do to these poor suffering toads. I'm trying really hard. Oh! I definitely deserved that. <laughs> oh, man. Okay, hold on. She doesn't have anything to say about that. No toad crimes allowed. Just saying. All right. Of course, is gonna be so mad. Just gonna be like, what are you doing here? Did I not kick you out the door? Flavio gonna be BFFs? Ooh. Oh, what? It's you again? Did you forget something? <laughs> I love how incredibly like casual and normal he is just talking to him like this. Like, no, Cortez is great. Like, his fight is memorable and cool, and he's really funny. He's really funny. I'm very amused. C -c -c Cortez, I have to speak to you. Flavio, what are you doing? Could you lend me your ship? He's trying. He's. Wait, is he actually seriously trying? Is he actually being brave to save his people? No. What? What would possess me to lend you my ship? And who are you anyway? M my name is Flavio. We are in big trouble and we could really use your ship. He does seem legitimately scared, and he does seem like he's doing it anyway. Maybe Flavio's actually being upstanding here. We must protect our crew from bad pirates that are blasting us to bits. Of course, this is going to be like, dude, I'm a pirate. I don't care. So we just need to borrow your ship for the teensiest little while. What are you talking about, muchacho? I do not rent this ship for pleasure cruises. And even if I would lend it to you, this ship is magical and it cannot move now. The key to powering the ship is the mystical skull gem. Well, 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 well. The skull gem? You, you mean this? You, you have the skull gem? Uh, yes. Yes, I do. So, all right. What do you say to this proposition, then? He seems to have gotten over his fear. Now we're, now we're, 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 uh, gonna make a deal. Take the gem handed down through generations of my family and lend us your ship. I think that is a pretty fair deal. Do you not think, Cortez, old friend? Oh my god. <laughs> old friend! Your ancestors stole that gem from me, you strutting peacock. It's a perfect insult. Perfect. Perfect. You must be very brave or very, very foolish to ask such a thing of me. I should turn you into a piñata and throw a party on the beach. Wait just a moment. Do not make me have Mario trounce you again. While he fights you, I will throw the stone into the sea where you will never find it. How would that be? You rattle my bones, Senor Peacock. They're not putting the... I don't remember what it's called, but the... There's... The... The... And should have... A symbol, yes, but what's it called? No, it's not an it's not an accent, it's a specific thing. I thought I probably can't pronounce right. I'm sorry. Is it a tilde? I'm pretty sure it has another name when it's on top of a letter. I thought a tilde was just like its own separate thing. Very well, he says. I accept your bargain. Now be very careful with that gem. Ah, check and mate, Flavio. I did not make my fortune by failing in negotiation. No, you in 
You inherited your fortune, Flavio. Presumably. Self-made man. That's what I have to say about that. You can talk your way through any deal, I say. Now, you take this. That's what I thought, in a sense. I thought there was a, there was a name for that. That letter with the thing on it. Um... Ah, now my precious black skull will sail the seas again. Take the black pearl. I was getting quite annoyed by the sound of cannons outside anyway. Now I can really stretch my bones and wreak havoc on the seas like in the old days. So Mario, feel free to thank me anytime for saving us all. But for now, we sail. We have to get all of our friends first. We gotta pick them all up. Do I have to fight him again? Watch us leave the ship, and all he does is he goes and he beats this guy up. The music is still ominous out here. This is Cortez's room, all right. I guess you'd call this the captain's cabin. Sure, there's a lot of treasure in here. You could live many lives of luxury with this. And I'll tell you, lots of this stuff has archaeological value as well. Like his swords! You think maybe we could pocket a little bit without Cortez noticing? I just want to see if he's got any, um, uh, what are those called? Pieces. I don't care about his money. I want to find star pieces or things. No, just not appear, so... When did this game out come out versus when did Pirates of the Caribbean come out? Oh look, everyone's on our ship! Hey, we're coming too! Let's take them! Come on, all for one, guys, and one for all. Why well, I ain't letting old Flavio Fancy Pants hog the glory. Come on, Captain Stash! Everyone's gonna shriek. It's been a millennium since I gazed out upon the sea. Come to the open waters. Oh. I guess those are our creepy little. Buh, buh, buh. I got ammo to spare. How's that for boom, boss a boom? Ah. Uh. You fire cannons here without my permission? You have nerve, mortal. Oh my god. The paper just tears up. What the? Oh my god. Do you see all of his x knots They're really showing off how many dudes they can have. Why are his x knots in the sail? Why are they in the sails? Why? Why? I mean, I can understand why the ghosts are. I'm gonna sink this ratty old ghost ship to the bottom of the ocean. Hanging off the rigging? Maybe. Hear my voice, spirits. Take their ship and show them the meaning of fear. Oh, so they can do this. Mario, my captain, it is now your turn again. Get over there and duel that cad. He has a little pyramid of dudes in front of him. Buh, buh, buh. I'm gonna turn you guys into wee seeds. Wait, that's not right. I'll turn you into seaweed. I was trying to figure out where he was going with that. I had no idea. Buh, enjoy. Can't play this fight. All right, well. Probably ought to have healed first, but you know, whatever. What is all punies? <laughs> That's Lord Crump. Not this guy again. Ugh. His location is various. <laughs> That's funny. Max HP is 30, attack is 3, and defense is 0. 
He just attacks normally, so don't worry much about him. But those x knots all around him are a force to be reckoned with. They're going to attack us with all kinds of weird moves. I can just feel it. If we take out their leader, though, they won't have the focus to attack. Get Crump. She might be just saying that because she really doesn't like him. You know what we could do? We could get this fight started off right. I could try to save myself. Not save myself. Uh, save my um, honor. Redeem myself. Oh, wow. I should probably learn that at some point. Why not? No pressure. Satisfying. That was deeply satisfying. <laughs> you can tell when I go into serious mode on timing and things. All right, time to swap partners. Vivian, set him on fire. <laughs> Yeah, that's the spirit. Yeah! <laughs> You're not gonna get off that easily, losers. Let's see how you like this. Let's go summon up more friends. x not. Did they just take damage? Oh, they have a health bar too. All right. Well, we're gonna take him down anyway. Yeah, I can do this. Beep, 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 beep. All right. <laughs> what forks? Where did the forks come from? What are you guys doing, you weirdos? Oh my god. Satisfying. Oh, they, they went away too? Oh, he's healing. Oh my god. You. What? Berg. Man, this is no good. I thought I was almost aced for a second there. But you haven't finished me off yet, you sea urchins. I'm down, but no way I'm out. That's a lot of guys. health this time. Did he have 20 before or 30 before? What have I got? Probably ought to have taken out more of those, but whatever. So I'm distracted by the music. We're gonna try this again. Onion 
didn't do it too fast. Ah, oh, that's unfortunate. Not good. What the heck? What the heck, you what? You're doing so much damage to her. Unacceptable. Who can do good group attacks? Can you blow them up? Bomb squad. That sounds good. Oh, shoot. Well, that's gonna blow me up. That's probably actually not gonna do any good. Darn it! All right, I should probably use an item actually. Yeah. I should probably heal myself is what I should do. This is tricky, this is a tricky one. All right. I want to use Vivian because she can, I should set him on fire, but then she might die and I'll be really sad. Flurry, what have you got? All right, that's not too bad. Oh my god, all those bombs. Okay. I feel like I should heal Mario. No, that's the wrong one. This is the right one. Okay, that's slightly better. Flurry is a tough girl. God, he's so much damage. Yeah, that's what I figured. Okay, well, that did something. You? I mean, that's good to know. He's like, yeah, you know. Uh, we're gonna try this. Okay, okay, good, 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 good. All right, I can take you from here, buddy. You're gonna summon friends, yeah, you're gonna summon your friends. Yeah, that's why we gotta focus on you. However, I think I can do this. Oh. Okay, Mario, what have you got? Nice! Come on. Oh no! Bad timing, Lauren. Okay, wow, so much for that. Jeez, that's so much damage. Ah. Uh, if that's enough or if he's got another round. He's tough. This is a tough fight. Okay, we did it! I feel like Flurry was the right person to use there. Huh, that was tough. That was really tough, but like in an interesting way because it required you to strategize a bit. Man, this is getting old. How could I lose again? I hate losing. Now I gotta think of another excuse for Grotus! And with that, pow, I'm gone. <laughs> it's got a little tail that's a morning star. Why we've we done it, Mario. I dare say he won't trouble us for some time. Hmm? Way to go. Yar, eat seaweed. We did it! Save all game progress up to this point? Yes. 
totally legitimate copy of the game. Absolutely. Oh, oh, that was the post chapter bit. Okay, got it. Oh, oh we gotta see him. We pour it in. You blew it again, Lord Crump. You sicken me. Why is he called Lord? Anyway, what's he Lord of? Look, I'm sorry. Seriously. We thought we thought we had the guy cornered, but stop talking, Lord Crump. You just stand by until my next order. And Lord Crump, think of this as your last chance. Understand? Roger that. Then leave. Hey, you there. What is it, sir? Tell the shadow sirens to attack Mario again. And tell them not to fail this time. As opposed to all those other times that you told them to fail. You got it, sir. X. I have one crystal star in my hands, and Mario has five. I must take some measures. When did they get a crystal star? Hey, Tech. What's up? Tech called me in here again. I wonder what it is this time. He does it once. Tech, was that noise you? What's wrong? I must request that you do something a bit more dangerous this time. All right, please don't objectify her uncomfortably. Dangerous. I would like you to sneak into Sir Grotus's room and look for a data disk. A data disk? Why would you need that? Although I can view all data on the network, I am unable to access the data of computers that are not linked to the network. Sir Grotus has information that even I am unable to view. But I must know it. I must know that information. But how will I get in there? Will I be disguised again? Not this time. Oh, good. No one other than Sir Grotus can enter his room. When Sir Grotus is elsewhere, there are guards outside the room that permit no entry. But there is a way. You will be fine if you act according to my instructions. Are we really going to do what I think we're going to do? I must tell you, I do not want to make you do such a dangerous thing. But now I have no one to ask but you. I don't mind, Tech. Really, ask me anything. Well then, first leave this room and take the elevator up as you did earlier. Alright. I want to be able to hop. Hop, 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 hop. I love Tate on my way down. Why is chaotic? It won't open. Draft, I must be in the wrong place. Oh, Peach. <laughs> the quote there's blue glass trying to uh trying to give me a pep talk back in the day hi big box store welcome we are hopefully not gonna get an angry lauren we'll see where this this part of this chapter goes you will first go in the opposite direction of sir grotus's room Exit the elevator and enter the room with the green lamp lit above it. Not that way. There are guards in that room, Princess Peach. Please head in the opposite direction. Head for the room with the green lamp above it. All right. <laughs> Thanks, big box store. Tech is backseating. I suppose he's allowed, even if he's not Gumbella. This looks like where I'm supposed to go. <sighs> Sorry, I don't mean to be yawning. I feel like I shouldn't be yawning already, but I am. 
I'm trying to live my life like I'm fully healthy already. My roommate tells me that I should maybe remember that I'm still recovering. <laughs> I'm doing my best. Oh! Now I will have you concoct a potion that will make you transparent. Okay, that's actually not that bad. That's better than I thought. I thought we were going to go some other weird way. You mean a potion that makes me invisible? Yes, you will enter Sir Rhodus's room by becoming completely invisible. Just as long as this isn't one of those things where she has to take her clothes off for her to be invisible. I, I normally wouldn't worry about that, but this game has already had her take her clothes off twice, so... We'll see how it goes. Wow, okay, how do I make it? You must first set all of the potions on the desk in the concoctinator. That's a great word. It's that machine in the back. But even I do not know which potion to set where. There should be memos left in this room by the x naught researchers. Please use them as references and set the potions in the machine. This is the time cooking segment type music. Note! Place the orange potion between the blue potion and the green potion. So the orange is not on the end. Do not place the red potion on the far right. Place the blue potion next to the red potion. I love logic puzzles, but I'm used to having like writing them out and not doing them on stream. So let's see how well I do. Okay. Blue and the green. Blue next to the red. And then red is not on the far right. Okay, then red is gonna go on the far left. We'll make sure I'm doing this right. And then it'll be orange and green. Okay. Oh, there's another. Okay, hold on. Place two potions between the green potion and the red potion. Okay, I got it right. Sweet. All right, I did it! I did it, I'm so proud of myself! Left side of the room. Beep, 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 beep. Let's see how this goes. Yes. I mean, this is a logic puzzle designed for children, so... It makes sense. It should be playable by kids, anyway. Or you have to be involved. Oh, we're indicated. Oh, wait, hold on. I did it wrong. Shoot. Oh, they messed it up. I misunderstood. We're gonna microwave it. Four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen, seventeen, eighteen, nineteen, twenty, twenty one, twenty two. 
Was that the... I don't think I did it right. Let's see how we did. By my calculations, it should be finished, but did it come out correctly, do you think? No, maybe? Very good. Then please drink it. All of it, if you please. What? Drink this? Is it safe? It smells really funky. Please, you must drink it. All right, I bet I did it wrong. Let's see what happens if you do the wrong one. Huh? Eek! What's going on? What's happening to me? How unfortunate. It looks like it was unsuccessful. Please do it again. No! I'm little. I'm sure I put them in right. I just, I know what I did wrong. Ah, okay, it's the time thing. Press the button where the beaker stops. That's what I did wrong last time. This is what I missed last time was that one right there. Because I didn't realize that it would go back, back and forth. seconds. Exactly 30 seconds. Okay. Two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen, seventeen, eighteen, nineteen, twenty, twenty-one, 22, 23, 24, 25, 26, 27, 28, 29, 30. <sighs> I, I know what the mistake that I made was. I don't know how forgiving the... Uh, I think it's okay. Let's try it. All right, here goes. <sighs> the blue potion next to the red potion. The red potion is not on the far right, it's on the far left. There are two potions between the green and the red. And Orange between the blue and the green. Yes, that's all right. And I'm pretty sure that I did this right. Well, I'm pretty sure that I got to all of the things that it did. So the timer is probably wrong, so. I got it. All right, we're gonna get a timer open so I don't have to count. We're gonna open up on my phone. We're gonna do a stopwatch. Okay. Exactly 30 seconds after the heating starts to stop the machine. Two, three, four, five, okay. Got it, I was off. I was definitely off. I'm watching this timer go. Man. I thought that the timer thing would be right. That the beep, 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 but it's not. All right, that should do it, hopefully. 
Oh, it's green. Okay. It's bright green. That's how you know you did it, right? <laughs> the final Jeopardy theme. I don't know that I would sing that right. All right, we got this. I think it's correct. It wasn't bright green before, so maybe this is right. This is definitely somebody's thinly veiled fetish. <laughs> I don't think I even need to say my problems with this at this point. Do I? Do I need to reiterate why this is a problematic thing that they chose to do? Because if you're rendering someone invisible you are not following any specific actual real rules. There are no actual laws as to what happens when somebody drinks an invisibility potion. So if you put an invisibility potion in your video game, in your story, you get to make the rules. So you get to decide, does the invisibility potion work on clothing or not? So your decision to make it not work on clothing is not, gosh, that's just how invisible potions work. That's just what invisibility is like. No, you are consciously deciding that this game ostensibly for children and this, this character who is ostensibly a respected um, individual with some sense of agency in her own life the right choice here is to make her have to strip not once, not twice, but three times. And even better, this time, we the player know the whole time she's running around without clothes. Gasp. Great. Because that's a moment designed for you to be like, oh my god, she's taking her clothes off. And then you think about the fact that she's naked all the time. It didn't have to be there. Somebody decided that they wanted Peach to run around naked in this game. And not just that they wanted her to run around naked. The fact that there's about to be a conversation in which we acknowledge the fact that her clothes are not invisible. And she will be uncomfortable and unhappy about the fact that she has to take her clothes off and run around naked. There's a degree of humiliation involved as well that doesn't need to be there. But I think that they have chosen... Both to have her complain about it and be uncomfortable with it and still have to go through with it against her will. She wasn't even told what was going to happen. She wasn't told how this was going to go. She, she, she did not consent to this. And since this feels like the thinly disguised fetish of somebody involved in the game's development, um, the lack of consent is presumably part of the appeal. And that's really gross. Because, yeah, she could have poured it over her head and then her whole body and her clothes are invisible. It could just make her whole sprite invisible because there's no real physics in this, like, that we have to deal with. Um, she's a piece of paper. The entire paper went invisible. Like, and yes, as somebody pointed out, when she shrank, her clothes shrank with her. These chapters are... Yes, once could be a whoops, maybe, although her taking a shower for no reason is not really a whoops and unzipping her clothes. Like, her having to wear a disguise, there's nothing weird about, oh, the character has to wear a disguise. What is weird about it is that they, they played the zipper sound effect so that you were thinking about her taking her clothes off and the fact that she takes her clothes off at two other points in the game. But it's not even, like, really a reason. So so that's just really gross. I, at this point, and every single Peach segment, I wait for it to get gross. And so I'm not... It's not that I'm not angry. It's that I'm resigned to this, and I figured that it was going to get worse. Yeah, like, they could have, I mean, like, if Peach, like, went into the room to get changed and comes out in a different outfit, 
as mo- like the vast majority, like basically any game that has a character changing outfits, they go behind the door, they come back out in different clothes with a different sprite. Um, they want you to think about her taking her clothes off. They really want to reinforce that somebody involved in the creation of this game really thought it was very attractive to imagine. And that's just gross. Like, no, go write, write your, your gross fanfic and put it up on DeviantArt. This is the kind of scenario that somebody with some sort of overlapping fetish with this would commission an artist on DeviantArt to draw a series of illustrations for. That's what this is. That's exactly the vibe that this has. Um, cool. Cool. Yeah, and if it's supposed to be like the robot discovers love separately, like they are kind of not really in line with that. They're doing this other thing. Uh, but I must ask you to take off your dress, however. Even the potion cannot make the dress invisible. That's in See, here she's complaining about it. She says that's indecent. No way. Okay, fine, I guess, if it's the only way. And this is just so horrifically the kind of n non consenting scenario that is repeated that is because I have had people try to commission me to draw their fetish art before because I draw mermaids and it turns out that transformation fetishists on uh on deviant art really like mermaids uh and non-consensual transformation into mermaids and so I once took a commission not realizing that that's what it was where is a girl transforming into a mermaid and then I realized that there was this whole I have this scenario I'm interested in the scenario and I have artists draw the scenario the exact same scenario with like details changed here or there the specifics of like what prompts it is different the specifics of what the girl looks like may be different but it's the same thing over and over again and it's just really that that's what this feels like and it's fine to do that sort of thing for your own private collection, especially if you're getting art from people who are freely and gladly creating art that is what you want. So there's artists who specialize in that sort of thing. I was not one of them. Um, and I didn't mean to. I was just, I, you can commission me to draw you a mermaid. Uh, so, but there's, a, there's also... Uh, unfortunately a subsection of the people who like that the guys who like that sort of thing who also really enjoy uh commissioning girls who don't realize what they're being commissioned for or who are uncomfortable with it or who are underage <laughs> it's an extra part of the appeal i'm sorry i realize this is maybe not an entirely family friendly thing to talk about but this game went there first um yeah it's 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 gross and nasty and deviantart isn't a cesspool but it does have some grossness on it um But yeah, this, that's exactly what this is. Um, it doesn't fit this game. But this is the sort of thing that you can't, you can't point to this and say, they did something sexual and it's inappropriate. And my problem isn't even necessarily that nudity is inappropriate. Because I do actually think that the fact that bodies are considered taboo but violence is fine is a problem. I think that violence should probably be more of a taboo than the human body. Um, but, uh, like, it's the specific scenario that sexualizes it in a gross, creepy, inappropriate, disrespectful way that actively chooses to remove Peach's agency. And it makes me extra gross because there's also, like, again, like, part of the, like, the people that, that commission this, like, there's people who commission their fetish scenarios from artists who are totally on board and the commissioners are totally respectful and everybody involved is happy. They pay lots of money. Everything is good. I may not choose to engage in that, but it's very respectful and equal um, on the part of both the artist and the commissioner. And I totally respect them doing their thing. But the fact that some of these folks who fetishize the removal of agency and consent of the character that they're commissioning choose to also try to remove agency and consent from the artist. 
I had an artist, or not an artist, I had a commissioner come to me who wanted to commission me to do fetish art, but he didn't say it was fetish art. And I said, that sounds like fetish art. I don't do fetish art. I don't want this commission. And he was like, no, there's this perfectly innocent other thing. And then I found out that that was that the perfectly innocent seeming other thing was, in fact, another piece of fetish art that I had specifically said I didn't want to do. Even if the art itself standalone was fine, um, in the context of what he was getting from it, I had actively not just not consented, but specifically said that I chose not to and did not want to. Um, and I was not in, in danger. These were online commissions in that instance. There are, I used to take art commissions at anime conventions back when it was easier to get in the artist alley um, uh, of, of anime conventions. And I was at the time under 18 and these guys would come over and try to commission me to draw them things that I wasn't even <laughs> legally supposed to look at. And it's just, it's really, it's really gross. Um, and so that's what I take issue with. And that's the kind of thing that this feels like. <laughs> like, why are you doing this? Anyway, you, you folks knew that this section was coming and you knew that I was going to have something to say about it. So yeah, at this point, like I'm old enough that like nobody's going to hurt me with this stuff. Um, but it was really upsetting at the time. And it is part of a really awful mentality that people have that is very predatory towards young girls. And I will, I'm going to allow myself to swear here. I will kick the ass of anyone that I see doing this sort of thing in person or online because I am too old and like experienced and angry. I have the power and confidence and experience to shut that down where I see it. So yeah, not okay. I feel very protective of, of girls and young women specifically and other groups, but specifically those groups online. So. Anyway. Back to the game. When you go into Sir Grotus's room, first locate the disc with the recorded data. Then insert that disc into the personal commu computer and connect to the network. When you are finished with that, please come back to this room. I will teach you how to make yourself normal again. Gee, this is kind of a complicated plan, huh? I suppose. Now, please go to Sir Grotus's room. And again, they could have made this scenario anything. You know what would have been cool? Peach had sneaking... She had stealth sequences in the previous game. It would have been really cool if Peach had the agency to sneak into Grotus's room. It could have been hard. She could have had to try to do some things. It could have been like, oh, no, I have to walk, like, walk around this gross thing or, like, not say anything when someone says something mean or whatever to, like, make it, like, a little, like, challenge for her in character. Um, or, like, oh, no, there's a mouse and I'm scared of the mouse, but I can't move. And, and Peach has, like, her, like, limited tolerance before she has to scream about the mouse. Like, there's any number of things they could do if they wanted to kind of laugh and make it silly and laugh at Peach and something, but still give her agency. They could have done that. Or a transformation parasol. Yeah, something like that. Um, but I, but I, I, feel like, I feel like a stealth segment would have been cool. It would have been great. We could have done that. And she wouldn't have to run around naked. <laughs> Why? Why is this happening? Because, because some lonely developer thought it was hot. Just the reason. That's the reason. There's a reason. Yeah, or like pretend to be Grotus. Gather, like, a recording of his voice. Whoa. Oh, that was creepy. Why did the door open even though there's no one here? A malfunction? Or am I just totally losing it here? Yeah, pretending to be Grotus would be funny. Like, it'd be funny to hear Peach. Like, well, you have to, we have to, like, record his voice and do this thing or whatever so that your suit can, like change your voice in order to sound like him. Like, they, they could have actually made a complicated and interesting thing that would have given her agency, fit what we've seen with her before, given them opportunities to be silly, let her still be a silly girly girl if they want to. You know? But no. 
We have to get Princess Peach naked. <sighs> yeah, no, there's, there's a lot of ways we could rewrite the scenario to be interesting and fit the game and the characters. And we're not even, like, the people who are paid to do this. They could have done it. They could have totally done it. Oh, there's the guard that we can't get past. It's one of the creepy ex Furbies. The ex Furby is confused. This must be Grotus's room. Now, where is that disc? Oh my god, it's Nibbles! Hi, Nibbles! There's a whole bunch of Nibbleses. Does that mean we're underwater? Or is that a Nibbles tank that he's gonna, like, drop Mario into? That is definitely... Definitely my, my greatest weakness in this game. There's his computer. Well, okay, here's his computer, I, at least. But I still need that darned disc. Where is that darned disc? Let's find it. Found it! This must be it! I mean, there's a whole bunch of discs. Data disc. A disc from Grotus's room. What kind of data is on it? Um, oh yeah, now I insert the disc into the computer and connect to the network. Data disc. I did it! Yes! I did it! It's working! I really like... I really like that sound. Oh my god. It's playing the game. Uh, I guess that's the data uploading. It looks like it said nights. Looks like it's all done. I better put the disc back where I got it. There. Like I was never here. Gotta check and see if there's anything secret or hidden. Yes, he has a fancy carpet because he's a fancy important dude. Look at how tall his chair is. What a goofball. Are these x not flags? He's got, I think they are. And this great big floppy drive. <laughs> I'm like, are kids these days even gonna know what a floppy drive is? All right, well the x Furby did not question mark on the other way. All right, well that was easy. <laughs> right, the save icon. Oh no, Wooper. So I assume I don't want to hit, like I don't want to walk into these people. So I'm gonna not walk into them. That's not the right way. Alright. Thank you, Princess Peach. I was able to obtain the data I desired. Is that right? Well, I'm glad. Now I will teach you how to become visible again. It is quite simple, actually. Merely drink the green potion. You will revert to normal instantaneously. Okay, just hang on one minute. She has to go put her clothes on first to remind you that, by the way, Peach is naked. She's been naked this whole section. <sighs> okay, now I'm ready. Let's see here. The green potion, right? What a relief! I was kind of worried that I might never become visible again. There was never any danger of that. Now, please return to the computer room. Cool. Very excellent. Good job, game. Say, by the way, Tech, what was that data? I am still analyzing it. The data is very heavily encrypted. But if my prediction is correct, 
If it's correct, what? No, I cannot afford any mistakes or assumptions. I will let you know when my analysis is complete. Now please use the communicator if you wish. Okay. You'll tell me when you decipher the data, huh? Good. Then I'll use the communicator, thanks. I've written my message. Would you send it? Beep, beep, beep. Sorry. The message has been sent. We are done for now. Please go back to the room. Okay. Take care, Tuck. Thank you, Princess Peach. Why, you're welcome, Tech. Princess Peach, I will protect you. That's not ominous. Save, yes, completely legitimate memory card. Completely legitimate save. Oh, oh. <laughs> Bowser, what are you doing? Black. No, that's the dude that I remember liking from the next game. That's a different character. What is this place? Why is the light so weird here? It's spooking me out. He's amazing. The light's odd because this is Twilight Town, my lord. Should be treasure here. Let's put the screws to one of these creepy things and find the crystal star. You are not going to torture people. That's what that means. Sounds good to me, Haggy. Let's go to it. Puh, puh, puh. Mama. Huh? The crystal star? I have no idea. Really, please spare me. Wait. Crump is here. Oh my god. Eek! Shh. Well, they're scary. They're, to be fair, Bowser's pretty freaking scary. No, no, am I gonna be turned into a pig again? Oh my god, he can't go into any of the buildings because he can't fit the door. The birds are cawing. I'm dreaming. Yep, just a bad dream. I'm gonna wake up any second. Yeah! Oh. This is very satisfying, okay. Ye cat cough you garg your garg. Wait, 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 wait. I'm pretty sure you're not supposed to be able to do that with Bowser, <coughs> but I'm really excited. We do need to get him a- man, every time I have a peach, and I just got peaches from the farmer's market last week, every time I, I get one to eat it, I do sing a song, you know. The birds are not thrilled. Okay, I guess it's time to- you know, I bet the laundry never dries around here. Oh, hmm, what is it? Oh, just catch one of these weirdos and make him tell where the crystal star is. All right, this is the weirdo. Oh, man. I'm pretty sure Beldum said she lost her super bomb 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 somewhere around here. This stinks. Really? This whole deal is extremely bad. 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 I gotta cowboy up and make a serious comeback here, or else. I do appreciate them saying cowboy up instead of man up. Like, I don't like man up, but cowboy up is, it, it's, it expresses the same sentiment while kind of taking away some of the inherent, like, misogyny and support of the patriarchy and abolishment of feelings of the original. Bam! Got it! I am the man! Now we can crush Mario and get the crystal stars in one fell swoop! Hot diggity dog! 
<laughs> the luck of the moon is still riding shotgun with me. Okay. Is that an idiom? The luck of the moon is still riding shotgun with me? Because, like, I understand what it means, but I don't have any... Like, the luck of the moon is not a phrase I've ever heard before. And saying that something's riding shotgun with me, like, I know what it means. But I've never heard, like, this thing is riding shotgun with me as, like, a... It, 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 it's with me. I've got it. Okay. Somebody's gonna have to investigate that. Because I've never heard of either one of those idioms, let alone one idiom of it together. And I have read a lot of things. So I'm like, is this a regionalism? What's the deal? Is this a literal translation? Is the first, like the first half feels like it's maybe a literal translation. Like the luck of the moon sounds like that might have originally been a Japanese thing. But then riding shotgun. I don't know. We're gonna have to investigate this. Crump is, Crump is, is a poet. Yes, he's a poet. You there, suspicious guy. You know something about the crystal stars, don't you? Buh, somebody there? Hey, what's the big idea, turtle boy? I like that the turtle boy is wobbling text. Oh no. You looking for the crystal stars too? Sweet, this'll help the Crump come back. Now then, let's get to it. You'll be telling me everything you know, now. Bash is just gonna set your face on fire. Uh, actually, it's you who's gonna spill everything. Spill every bit of info out of your big, ugly head. Yeah, sorry about that. And if you hesitate at all, I'll show you no mercy. <laughs> Bash or what? Whoa there, big guy. I mean, no, wait, what am I afraid of, you? If you think you can take me, then try it, chubby. Just set him on fire, Bowser. All troops report. Set them all on fire, Bowser. Yeah, you like that? Kind of a lot of dudes, huh? You feel like talking yet? I just appreciate when dudes just shows up in dialogue like this. <laughs> you dare scoff at, scoff at us? Koopa clan, form up! I feel bad for the locals. This is not good. Oh my god. Whoa! Well played! <laughs> so what's it gonna be, tough guy? Buh -huh. Oh, I gotta laugh. This is why I keep one of these around. Sorry, suckers. Eat this, turtle dorks. Super bomb bomb. Incoming! I really liked the sound that they played for Bowser there. Whoa, me! Run away! Huh? That was it? That was your big weapon? It didn't even go off. <laughs> this is how you do it, amateur. Watch and learn. He's going to set it on fire and it's going to blow us all up. Oh, crud. Bye. <sighs> Amazing. Well, I guess I did say to set them on fire. I guess that's... Yes, that is the perfect emote right there. <laughs> the Sophie on fire one. The violence. Hopefully Twilight Town is all right. Look, Crump is not good at forethought. <laughs> oh, here's our overly crowded boat. You, you have distinguished yourself in battle, amigo. You are worthy in my eyes. You may use this ship, the Black Skull, anytime you like. Yay, we're friends. Ah, many thanks to you. This ship can get us back to Rogueport in no time. Let us get away from this coconut pit and back home. Come, everybody. Ah, I can't wait to get home. We've been looking forward to this for so long. Returning home alive is all the treasure I need, for real. 
Now get this boat moving. Well, that is all there is to it then, am I not correct? To see, Captain Mario. Ah, oh, Mario. We're going to stay here. It's been tough at times, but I think we like this place. Yes, I think I can make a fine life here with my sweet Frankie. Hey, Mario, give my regards to the boss, will you? Yeah, I'm going to stay here. It's a right nice place to live without any ghosts, eh? I'm quite sure they'll be fine here on their own. Come now, Mario. Let's go. I'm so ready. Oh. Ready, amigos? Cast off. It's interesting that they've chosen to make Cortez Spanish. I wonder what his accent was like in the original. I wonder what his his origin was, if he has a, a catchphrase, a way of speaking or something like that. And thus, okay, sorry, month star day circle. And thus our adventure came to an exciting end, eh? The ship sailed smoothly on to Rogueport, and soon we saw the harbor off our bow. I did not find treasure, but I am satisfied nonetheless, strange though it sounds. For I have found something even more precious than doubloons. Yes, even now I hear the crew readying to dock. The time is ripe to close this journal. To all who wander the seas, Flavio's blessing upon you. Signed, Flavio. <laughs> Oh my god. Ah! At last we return, slathered in glory, to my hometown, sweet Rogueport. Slathered in glory. Well, no, but I mean, the Japanese version, I don't know if originally in Japanese the pirate was Cortez the Conquistador. Um, I mean, Cortez is a Spanish name, but I just, I just don't know whether the, his original form was Spanish and Spanish speaking and Spanish named. Um, so we do have a friend who watches these streams and compares uh, the Japanese and English version to see kind of what the translation did. Um, so presumably we'll have an answer for that. Um, thank you, friend. <laughs> so that's that's what I that's what I mean by like I wonder what he originally said. Yes, yeah, so and no, conquistadors were, were not pirates. They were separate things. Slathered in glory. Just like putting on tons and tons and tons of sunscreen, but it's glory. And then you glow extra. Well, Violet Square, if you, if you look back at like previous streams, if you look in the comments, you'll see there'll be a comment, a big long one that explains things and then usually sources where like the, the videos or the quotes or whatever that comes from. Um, it's cool stuff. Legend of Localization is, uh, I think you can get that from Fangamer, because Tomato is part of the Fangamer community, and uh, he usually does Legends of Localization. That's totally fair, Violence Square. I'm just saying, if you're, if you're interested, you can go and you can check those. Of course, it is only because of my courageous efforts that we return at all, huh? He actually was somewhat courageous, like unusually courageous for Flavio. I, I am proud of him. But of course, you all know that and know it well. Yes, yes, Master Flavio. Now, please excuse us. Perhaps chance will bring us all together again someday. Everyone's getting away from him. What? Hey, where are... You're all leaving already? Ah, that was harsh. Yeah, conquistadors were worse than pirates, and they, they did more damage. Pirates would, like, things like pirates would, like, harm individual ships and the people who were close to that. Conquistadors, like, just caused massive damage and destruction to, like, entire civilizations. It was really bad. Um, they're really, really, really bad. Not good. Not to be idealized in any form. Okay, so Flavio is sad he has lost his friendship. Such is life, Captain Mario. You are anxious to continue your own adventure also, huh? 
One day you may surpass the great and fabulous Flavio in greatness and fabulousness. I like that line, that's funny. It is not likely, I assure you, but you should, how you say, shoot for the stars, huh? If ever you should reach the pinnacle, remember to shout Flavio to the wind. That reminds me, amigo. If you ever get the urge to return to Keelhall Key, just say the word, okay? I will send you to the island faster than the fastest winds blow. Comprende? I'm sorry for my accent. Yes, yes, you giant skull, you. Your time in the spotlight is done. Get over yourself. <laughs> Ahem. Well, my adoring fans have gone, so I will be excusing myself now as well. If you see me in town, I would permit you to say hello to me. May we meet again, huh? Yeah, I feel like Flavio being, like, absorbed into somebody's young mind could have shaped the creation of both Papyrus and Metaton. Like, been, like, part of, like, the, the creative DNA that went into that character development. Well, that's that, Mario. I suppose we should go, too. Let's make for the door. Alright, you're fun and all, but, uh, we gotta... Gotta have our girl go. Oh, 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 we got a mail! I, I'm sorry, you're gonna get that sung along with every time. Hey, that's your ring, Mario! It must be an email from Princess Peach. Check it! Ringtone? Ring? Did anyone ever call those rings? I've checked the back of the billboard near the item shop once or twice, but I don't think I've checked it all, please. Dearest Mario, I have good news. I don't know where I'm being held, but there's an odd computer called Tech here. By cooperating with this Tech, I've managed to obtain some of these fiends' data. Tech is currently analyzing it, and strange as it may sound, I trust him. Once his analysis is done, I should be able to provide you with details of their plans. I'll email you again once I learn more. Be good, okay? Princess Peach. Wow, that Princess Peach is so totally awesome. Go, girl. We better get to work, too. I love Goombella. You came back from that island alive. Mate, you're a blue and freak of nature. You're a master. You're a true tamer of the high seas. You're more man than I am. Uh, it's not really a competition. Yes. Totally legitimate save. If it weren't for you, those guys never would have returned. Thanks, pal. Don't make your little brother worry. Be careful when you go out to sea from now on. So there were ghosts, eh? I don't care what kind of ship you got. I'd have been paralyzed. Shouldn't be eyed of. I... Apostrophe D, apostrophe V, E. That's how that is. But hey, coming back on a better ship than you left on is quite the score. Was this stuff always here? Wow, those guys all looked excited. They didn't get rich, but I still kind of envy them. Okay, I'll only talk to that guy. <gasps> Are you ready? Are you ready? <laughs> it's Ouija time. Well, I got another piece of that marvelous compass at Jazzafraz Town this time. Bro, I'm telling you, I turned adventuring into an art form on that little quest. Whoo! It was pretty nutty, bro. Want to hear what happens? It's a pretty long story. Obviously. Hey, sounds good to me. Which part of my story you want to hear, bro? Jazzafraz Town. I love Luigi too. He's really great. Well, like I said, it's a really long story, but here goes. As soon as we hit Jazzafraz Town, we were overcome by the glitz and the glamour. It's a very lively place, bro. Tons of daisies live there, and they're always smiling. 
While looking for the piece of compass, I met a hip daisy named Hazy. Hip daisy. Hazy. <sighs> Hazy was a producer, and he was looking for actors to go on stage with him. I told him we couldn't since we were looking for the compass part, you know. But Hazy said we could win the compass part in the upcoming drama slam. Whoa, drama slam. Theater kids, out of control. Of course Luigi's a theater kid. Oh, man. He said the so-called drama llama plaque might affect me. <laughs> drama llama. A drama llama plaque. I want a drama llama plaque. Can I have a drama llama plaque, please? Please. <laughs> oh, man. Good times. Well, we just had to give it a try, so we rehearsed with the cast and hit the stage. Our musical was called The Mystery of the Fiery Hat of Social Awareness. I'm not, no. The script was great, but I got really hosed, bro. My role, my part was grass. I played grass by the side of the road. Grass, bro, grass. I just sprawled out on the ground and had to be silent. Everyone but me had lines. I don't care if I was wearing green. Who cast someone based on that? It was awful. See, it's funny because we know that they cast him as this so that he wouldn't talk, so that his acting wouldn't ruin everything. But he doesn't know that. Or if he does, he's in denial. In the end, our musical was the talk of the town and we won the drama slam. I got the compass part I was after, but even that didn't make me very happy. The huge after party just bummed me out more, so I snuck out the back door. But wow! Outside were tons of fans! My fans! Fans of grass! They swarmed me because they're flowers. I just couldn't believe it! Imagine cheering for grass! I was ecstatic, bro! After that, I added the piece to the marvelous compass, which pointed north. It pointed to the rapturous ruins and Grimble Forest. Then, the voice again. Oh, my cherished Princess Eclair, how you soothe me. I would be grass for you. I will find you. I will reach you. I will stand by your side and be your Luigi. <laughs> He's so brave. Wow, sorry about that, bro. Um, so yeah, anyway, then I got back on my boat. I came back to Rogueport, and here I am, another leg of my adventure completed. Incredible. I love him. That's Luigi's daisy friend, Hazy. Apparently, Hazy is an actor-director. You know Luigi's acting debut, right? The grass thing? I could never play grass. I'd want to play a princess, and a prince would wake me with a kiss. So romantic. Oh my god, this girl. I'm Hazy, and I must say, Luigi is a great actor. One of the finest I've seen. After this adventure, we're going on tour to appear on stages everywhere. I'm going to be known as the Red Miracle, and of course, Luigi will be grass. Red Miracle? Why? I don't understand. You're green. Okay, hold on. Where can I go now? Yeah, Luigi shockingly did not anger this one. <gasps> Tea time! Who's the line away is this? HP drain. Turns you into a vampire. 
I got a star piece too. Okay. I mean, I'm greedy thinking that there might be something else besides the badge and star piece that I found here. But in case there's somebody to talk to or something, I don't want to miss that chance. Okay, well. Really, Blade Tiger? Okay, well. I've been wondering what I could do from the boat square here since I saw that there was a boat square here. So that was one of the first things I knew I had to do. Let's just check and see if there's anything else going on here. Oh my god, just like a creepy skull friend just chilling. Hi, creepy skull friend. I'm sure Rogueport, actually Rogueport won't care. They're like a bunch of like grizzled criminals and stuff anyway. I just, I remembered that. I remembered that because it's the thing I can't do. I'm still bummed that I can't wait. Are you ready for attempted property damage? Oh, it was worth a try. All right, no property damage here, alas. Yeah, that is definitely the sort of hideout that I would have gotten really excited about as a kid. There's gotta be something down there. Wait, hold on. Well, it was worth a try. Sorry, buddy. All right, do you have the Wario clothes? No, I do want to see if you've got the Wario clothes. Jump man. I just want your warrior clothes. Oh man. oh man. Let's check our email. Check in the email. I'm sorry. I'm gonna say that every time. Red Mage issue four. Red Mage issue four. Rogue Port's day. Dusk today. That's a lot of todays. <laughs> Very good journalist. Gumez, age 40, known for napping in the flowers in the West Side Park, was found eating flowers and given a stern warning by authorities. <laughs> this rogue port? What kind of authorities are there making sure you stay off the lawn and don't eat it? Anyway, asked for comment, Gumez stated, Well, I just really, really love flowers and I was hanging out and before I knew it, they were in my mouth. I'm so ashamed. Citizens of Rogueport responded with disbelief and grudging support for the strengthening of flower conservation efforts. <gasps> Amazing. Oh my god. Shop reporter go. This time we introduce the Twilight Shop. Oh, oh, there's some drama there. Watching the husband and wife proprietors of the shop at work is a heartwarming sight, but don't get on the hubby's bad side. Don't you go smiling at my wife, said the jovially jealous shopkeeper. Jovially jealous? Uh, no. I'm hers for life, and your fancy big city teeth aren't going to change that. Well, who could doubt their eternal love? Surely not this reporter. We pressed the shopkeeper for further comment, but regret that his words are unprincipled. <laughs> but we did learn from the little missus that there will be a double point sale for all Red Mage readers. Just show her the screen in the next 15 minutes to double your points on any purchase. This, does that actually work? Can someone confirm or deny? <laughs> Cooking for rookies. All right, my little rookies, we're on to an intermediate level recipe today. The dish is a healthy salad. Just slice up a turtley leaf and a horse tail, mix them together, and you're done. Great for dieters. That sounds weird. Editor's note, that's all for today. 
But check your mailbox soon for another exciting issue. Published by Rogueport Restoration Committee. Okay, so it's basically the, um, the, uh, HOA. Graffiti Corner, all right, we'll see. Hi! We'll see what the Graffiti Corner has to say for us. Oh, no! Sometimes I think I'd be better off not ever speaking. Oh, I wish I was still a pig. Morbidly depressed Twilighter. Oh, my God. That's incredible. All right, well, we gotta go. Hold on. Hold on. Let's go do this. This is the fastest way I can think of to get. I'm gonna go do this. We've read the email. That's how you get to Twilight Town, right? Right? Let's see if we can do it in 15 minutes. <sighs> Platforming Maya. I can do this. I swear I can do this. All right. Let's find out. Where's the shop? I don't even need points. I'm just really excited about the the idea of that working. It gives you a really tight win window. Here's the item shop, right? It's the item shop. Good night. Thank you for coming by, Veritas. All right. What did she say? Having a double point special so buy up. They totally are. Oh my god, amazing. That's hilarious. Hey, look at all those shop points you got. How about I set you up with the super shroom? <laughs> Amazing. Let's get another one. Thunder Rage sounds good. Spite Pouch. No. Stopwatch. I'm really excited about that. My inventory is full. Well, that's fine. We got our shop points. Let's check our shop points. Oh, I found an end coupon behind that. Well, that's fine. I don't need it anyway. I wonder if it replenishes. 50 points. Thunder Rage. That's fine. I don't know what you'll do with the gold bars, but I can get gold bars. I collect the goods and she sells them simple. I did buy something, buddy. All right, well, we did the double point thing. I'm satisfied. I got some useful things. I'm going to get out of here now, though. The door handles look like piggy noses. The, this game has, has, has strange sound. The sound effects are delightfully Mario. And very cute, yes. I can't listen to the Twilight Town theme too long, though, or it makes me really depressed and sad. I have to, oh, I had to re re reload when my totally legitimate copy of the game broke. How do I get out of here? Oh, that's not it. That's not how I get out of here. Is this how I get out of here? Oh. Don't eat the gold bar like a chocolate bar. That would be bad for you. I don't think we can ingest and, 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 and digest gold. There we go. All right, well, I am satisfied that that happened. Are you the guy who was eating flowers, buddy? Ah, how refreshing. Yes. He fell asleep and then he ate the flowers. <laughs> you just really like it, so you ate it. That is one way of dealing with it. Oh, let's go talk to Don Pianta. Oh, wait. Do you see what I see? Property damage. Property damage, my friends. My favorite thing. I love it so much. Okay. Sweet. I'm gonna go blow everything up. All of it. Just everything. It's gonna get so blown up. It's just gonna go boom. 
boom, bossa, boom, boom, ba, da, 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 boom, boom. I don't know. All right, let's go report back to the daddy to let him know that his kiddo is living on a haunted island, but we took the ghosts away, so it's safe. Oh, wait, is he napping? Didn't he used to have a desk? Why is he here in a bed instead of a desk? Is it like a transforming desk that turns into a bed? He's snoozing. Hey, if it ain't you guys from before, you need to be with the boss once again, eh? Well, normally we could, you know, help you out, but the boss is currently snoozing. No, I don't Okay, well, I wanted her to tell me about the snoozing mob boss, but okay. Fine. Onward we go. How much more? But if you, if you eat gold, I mean, I guess there is edible gold that's really thin. It's just, mostly my concern would be eating something that, sorry, I got distracted thinking about the city. Yeah, like eating enough gold could, could cause problems. You might need to have surgically removed. What else can I blow up? Yes, now we don't endorse eating gold bars, but we do endorse property damage. Property damage. Property damage. There's gotta be some property I can damage here. Okay, no, nothing explosive. Eating gold could be a form of property damage. I suppose. Don't eat all flowers. Some flowers are really bad for you. What are you doing outside of your shop, buddy? You go inside the shop. That's where you go. That's what you do. What is your deal, pal? Oh, what impeccable timing. Yes, this was destined. When I consulted my star charts, I saw a portentous sign for you, Mario. It went thusly. In the house of the dragon that flew through the air, beyond the reversible stair, near the empty black chest that cursed you, lies a clue to help your allies learn. I have no idea what it means, unfortunately, but I have no doubt of its importance as a sign for you and your friends. If you figure out this mystery, come and tell me immediately. So, Hookshot's castle. wasn't intentional <laughs> oh let's upgrade my bomb <laughs> oh my god shizumi shizumi I feel it. I feel the cosmos. I'm never not going to say that either. I'm sorry. You're stuck with me in these things. Then you may go. All right. He's... Oh, wow. He's got a lot of help. Okay. So in Hookshot's castle is where we're going to find a thing for next. There's got to be something else I can blow up. Wait a minute. Oh, hold on. I can do this. Wrong button. No, wrong button. I'm sorry. Wait, can I go through here? No, I can't. There's the lore guy. Do you remember the lore guy? I'm really good at this, okay? <gasps> Treasure chest. Oh man, it's gonna be an item. I should probably not be all full up. No, wrong button, I'm sorry, buddy. <laughs> 
Sorry. You're just gonna deal with me meowing. A meow? I don't know. I need to find the shop. And then I'm gonna... Rogueport is a weird place, but I do kind of like it a bit more than I did before. Even if I can never find my way around, I do like that it's got all these weird, like, sideways things. I just, I meow melodies unintentionally. Oh, it's bad. What is this? Super Luigi book one, super popular now in sealed bulk. I'm here to store some things. I'm gonna store some super shrooms. Yes, we're gonna store some super shrooms. Okay. We're gonna take, gonna withdraw something. I wanna have an attack style. No, we're good. I gotta get this. I gotta buy the Super Luigi. Notice that it's 64. It's funny. We're gonna get Super Luigi book one. I'm gonna need 64 coins for that Super Luigi. Wanna buy it, fella? Yes, obviously. Thanks, fella. I don't know what I do with it, but I've got it. Does it count as an important item? Have you ever experienced a time when no matter how hard you tried, you failed, and the time you spent felt wasted? If you, if ever you feel such pangs of regret, try to remember this tale. The story of a young man's quest to save a sweet princess. Super Luigi Volume 1. The quest begins. The day dawned like any other, but little did Luigi know that the letter he was about to receive would forever change his destiny. The fanfic's in the game, guys. It's in the game. Canonically. Oh my gosh. If you write this fanfic, you are obligated to start with this as your first sentence. You have no choice. Sir Luigi, danger besets us on all sides, and we beg your help. The foul chestnut king has stolen our treasure, our fair princess. The letter was from Minister Crepe of the Waffle Kingdom, a man aware of Luigi's many adventures. He knew only Luigi could save them. Charged with this dire task, Luigi wasted no time curtailing the heroic meal he was making. Then he packed for his deadly journey. Knowing that his older, though less talented brother, oh, Luigi, no, was out on a no doubt and consequential errand, Luigi took a moment to leave a note. Luigi would never. He clearly didn't write this. Somebody else must have written this. He would never. Mix a keel mango with a peachy peach to whip up a fruit parfait. These cryptic words were all Luigi wrote before leaving. Well, that's good to know how we can cook more foods. Upon reaching the Waffle Kingdom, Luigi was greeted by pure misery. An endless flow of tears over the kidnapping of Princess Eclair. Arriving at the castle, Luigi was greeted by Minister Crepe, who carefully handed him a compass base with only one intact section. Our land had a, mar a second treasure, the marvelous compass. Find its seven parts and find Eclair. So it began. To be continued. All right, so you get a recipe. Amazing. We'll blame Hazy. That's so mean of him. Oh, right, we were gonna go get that treasure. There's also that giant treasure box up there. I don't know how to get to. I'll figure it out eventually, maybe. All right. But for now, back to boat. Boat, 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 boat. Oh, right. Yes, it's definitely not a lot, given the price. But it's still worth it. You have to. I want... Wrong. I'll get this right button eventually. I want there to be this fanfic. I want there to be multiples of this fanfic. I want several people to have said, you know what I'm going to do? I'm going to sit down and I'm going to write Paper Luigi the Thousand Year Door. I hope it's up on AO3. I hope there's several of those. 
double dip. During battle, use two items in one turn. Oh, that's nice. I like that. Wrong button. <laughs> that's all right. That's what I deserved. Good night, Nick. Thank you. We'll see you tomorrow. Yes, tomorrow for anyone who is joining me and missed the intro talk. I will be streaming not on my channel, but on the Steam channel of the uh, developers of the visual novels that I'm that I'm playing. It's my sponsored stream. It's very exciting. Follow me on Discord. I'll also try to tweet about it um, with the link so you know where to go. It's called Shuyan Saga if you want to look it up if you don't trust me to find it. Which is valid. I don't know if I trust me to find it. Um, but that'll be tomorrow at 7. It's my usual stream time. Paper is made of people. It's like Silent Green, huh? Hey, it's the mustache. You remember me, right? Pierre the Thief. I've got to be straight here. Ishmael, Ishmael. Okay, no, I'll really talk to you. Alright, shall we climb the roof? I'm trying to remember how we climbed the roof. I'm pretty sure it involved flying across here with the kid. So in other words, I'm going to fall in the water a whole bunch. Yep, there's one. You ready to lose all of our money? <sighs> I need I need like a badge that makes it so that you don't get eaten by nibbles that would be my preference alright <clears throat> are you ready to lose all of my money good day to you sir is there a tale you want to hear? These are all the tales I can tell you now. There is more. Yes. Oh, interesting. I'm, I don't know whether to be uh, surprised, impressed, or disturbed by uh, the detail that chat is going into thinking about what it means if people are made out of paper and books are made out of paper. What does that mean? All right, you ready? The, oh, wait, this is actually, this is describing the last three chapters. What? Okay, hold on. The tale of the demon's curse. Tell me the tale. The four heroes thought, okay, this is actually a story. The four heroes thought they had sealed away the demon and all of its powers. But the demon used a tiny opening before the seal was complete to curse them all. While holding the crystal stars, they'd feel nothing, but when they let them go, a black box would appear to seal their souls within. Are the four heroes? The, like, haunted three circus treasure chests? Wow. The four heroes traveled the world, scattering the stars so the seal would remain. But the last four stars each carried the curse, which claimed each hero. That's amazing. That, okay. I wondered who those guys were. I didn't think that we'd actually get an answer, but it is really funny that they're like these ridiculous comedic things. But we'll see what happens with them. Did I just not buy that one last time? Because these ones are about story bits that I've done. I don't know. The Great Tree and Punies. Yes, let's do this one. The hiding places of many of the crystal stars have now faded into legend, but some say that the wise Goomba hid one in the great tree. At that time, many monsters wandered in the nearby boggly woods. The tiny punies were always tormented by their fierce appetites, it was said. Pitying them, the Goomba hollowed out the great tree for the punies to live in. The punies were so grateful that they swore to protect the crystal star there. Okay, that's good. They were getting eaten by the monsters, so the giant tree is to protect them from being eaten by the monsters. That's cute. Okay, the Pirate King Cortez. Let's hear his story. 
The Koopa hero went to a southern isle to hide his star where none would find it. But the Koopa was so tired from his journey that the pirate Cortez stole it easily. In that very instant, the brave Koopa was trapped in an inescapable chest. But Cortez did not realize the power of the star and lost it among his treasures. All right. Well, that is interesting stuff. I'm sorry I'm yawning, but at least it's properly time. At least it's properly time to uh, to shut down shortly. Sorry, I'm just checking out to see because if, if this were me, I would have hidden something here, but there's nothing hidden there. So here we go. You feel so clever. Will you somebody remind me that Hooktail's Castle has a, an upgrade thing? Since we've now upgraded all of our friends that we have. There may be other characters who join us. Um, but even Bobbery is upgraded, so we'll see what he can do. Alright, that's actually time! We've done it! We actually managed, I managed to stream an entire stream, folks. Alright. So, before we go, again, a reminder to everybody that I have my sponsored stream tomorrow on Steam. Follow for the link. I don't have it on hand, um, but it's at 7 p.m. It's the usual time that I start these games. Thursday, we will be resuming Disco Elysium. Next week on Tuesday, we will be playing Paper Mario. Um, it is the following week that we will be taking off, but that will be when my first video essay goes live. I'm very concerned and scared about this video essay because I've never done anything like it, put anything like that on my channel. So I don't know how it's going to be or how it's going to go. So if you can at all bring yourselves to, uh, to, uh, um, to check that out and be supportive, I would appreciate that. Um, I don't know if there's anything else I want to say. Um, I will, I meant to put up, and I haven't yet, the, uh, the song that I recorded from this game. Um, I still need to do the video for it. So that'll be happening. Um, otherwise, yeah, I think that's just about it. Thank you, as always, for being here. I appreciate your support. I appreciate your appearances. Everybody in the audience, whether you're a, a, a lurker or a person who chats a lot, I'm glad to have you here. I appreciate those of you who subscribed, but I'm always happy if, if, you, if you just come in and tune in and, and, and like to have something to do with your evening. Like, that's, that's plenty good for me. I appreciate you all. Take care of yourselves. Be safe, be healthy, be careful, and don't get cursed by demons or undead pirates. Life lessons from Lauren. <laughs> Alright, take care of yourselves, folks. Bye!